Okay, let's talk about the vertical position, the 3G position. We can either go vertical down or vertical up. If you go vertical down, you start at the top and you go to the bottom. If you work the vertical up, you start at the bottom and you go to the top. First one I'm going to show you is a vertical up. All right, here we go. We're going to heat our metal up. Start our little tack and then just walk our way up. Now when you're going, you're going to have to just manipulate your rod. Cool in, cool out. Just walk the puddle up. You notice the puddle wants to go up. It doesn't want to drop. It wants to stay right where you put it. Okay? Now if I stay too long, I could make this puddle sag. Okay? See how it's starting to sag? All you do is just whip it up. Watch the puddle. See how it wants to go up? It wants to go where the, the heat goes. See the puddle? It wants to go up. Watch the back of the puddle. I'll turn sideways a little bit. Watch the back of the puddle. See how it goes? It travels up to the heat. So you walk it in, walk it out. Just keep going. I put a little tack in there ahead of time so my plate wouldn't walk. Now I'm going to tack it. Pull out with my hand so that I can get a little further away from the rod. And I'm, I'm, I'm manipulating it up. See the puddle going up? You get, you get too much heat, just move the rod, move the puddle, move the torch. It's in the manipulation, folks. You just keep manipulating your rod. Okay? It's not dropping, it's not sagging, it's not going away. You can do pretty much anything you want. Just keep the puddle going just as if it was in the flat. Okay? There you go. That's a 3G vertical up. Okay, let's take a look at our, our weld. Here's our weld going up. This is where I let it sag. Remember when I made it sag? I had to actually work at making it sag. And I was maneuvering the, the torch back and forth, up and down, so I could show you that the puddle would go where you want it to go. It'll follow the heat. You see it all the way up? All right, that's an acceptable weld. Now, I'm going to make another one, only this time I'm going to manipulate the torch very little and I'm going to come up with a much smoother weld. I want to show you how easy this really is. All right, this time I'm going to go up, but I'm not going to manipulate the torch a whole lot. I'm going to just try and just stay right in my puddle. See, I'm basically just going straight up. I'm not whipping it around a lot. And I'm not moving the rod a lot. I'm just letting it melt off as I go up. So you can do a vertical up in a bunch of different ways. Practice with a bigger gap, a smaller gap, bigger rod, smaller rod. Don't try and make it always the same because you're not going to be doing it always the same when you're working. So try different stuff. Get comfortable with everything. Get comfortable with the puddle. The puddle tells you everything. But this time I'm hardly, hardly moving the torch at all. And as soon as I say that, right away I've got to start moving the torch. You notice my flame tip changed? I'm just going to continue on up anyhow. Sometimes it'll pop right off. All right, there we go straight up. Alright, let's take a look at our weld. Notice the weld is smoother on the way up, not too much bouncing around. Just keep going straight up. There you go. Alright, now I'm going to do a vertical down. This is the same joint, only instead of going up hand, I'm going to go down hand. I'm going to do it from the top to the bottom. It's a vertical down, still a 3G. All right, now I'm going to start at the top. Get the puddle going. And this time we're going to go down hand. Same thing as before. We're still working the puddle. Down hand. 
nothing changes. Notice the puddle is not running away from me, even though I'm trying to push it downhill. The puddle is not running away from me. It's staying right where it wants to stay. And all I got to do is follow it. I can't go any faster than the puddle wants to go. All I got to do is just follow it on down. Just keep adding rod right to the edge of the puddle. I'm preheating ahead. Sounds just like when I'm welding in the flat. No different. I'm just thinking flat. And if you notice, again, the puddle's not running down and running away from me. All right, let's take a look at our weld. Started up here at the top, and we brought it on down. Straight down, just like the other ones. Always thinking in the flat position. When you're practicing these wells, put the plates close together, especially early on, so you get the feel of the well puddle. And then start opening up your crack. Start opening up, opening up until you start getting full penetration in the weld. When you get to that point, start looking at the weld, bend it over, hammer it over. That's when you start to get your weld strong. Make sure your cross section is good. Initially, if you're having a problem with the vertical up or the vertical down, go ahead and turn the plate so it's a little bit slanted. Make it a little bit easier for you until you get accustomed to it. It's really going to be fairly simple if you've been practicing. If you've been practicing and watching your puddle, there won't be a problem. Okay, let me show you the overhead, the 4G position.